Hey, what is up, guys? We are back with another video on Astroneer, and in this episode, we are actually going to be going ahead and uh, going for and trying to make an atmospheric condenser. So this thing's pretty fancy. Um, but basically, we gather gases from our atmospheres, and then we can use it to craft alloys and stuff like that. Uh, for example, an alloy that's called titanium alloy that we're going to need to make a large shuttle later. You can't do that quite yet, but we're going to be able to do that in the future if we are able to make an atmospheric condenser. Now, we need plastic, glass, and iron. Now, you've heard of glass, right? Um, we make that by smelting quartz. Plastic is made in the chemistry lab, which I believe I kind of showed a little bit in the past, in a previous episode. Then iron, we actually get on this planet, on Glacio. So we go and, go and grab some iron. In fact, that's the raw resource right there. And we can uh, smelt it here and bring it back is kind of the idea. So once we get that, we can kind of progress and get more gases in order to make more alloys, like I was saying. And then we can uh, make cooler stuff. So let's go ahead and just get started. But I was also thinking that, you know, the last episode was all about just getting research bites and stuff like that. And, I mean, like, I guess it was kind of boring, but I feel like that's just a really good strategy that I needed to kind of show you guys. But I think from now on, I'm going to just do it, like, off camera, I think. I think I just want to, um, like, maybe I'll just do some off camera stuff. Maybe if I feel like it, maybe I could live stream just grinding out some bites and stuff like that. That way I can actually, um, just unlock all the stuff. But I feel like in, if I do all that in the videos, it's going to be kind of boring. So I'm going to try and just get a ton of bites in between episodes now we kind of um are kind of already full i want to keep the tethers on me just because um so that we can branch out further because obviously that one thing that one uh spa of iron isn't going to last forever but we might want to do something a bit different let's drop our work light onto here let's turn it off so that way it doesn't use any power and Let's go ahead and actually throw our soil canisters into here. And let's make some resin for something we're going to do a bit later. And then we can just gather as much as possible, I guess. Um, we can just kind of go back and forth. So, um, hopefully, I think we're going to need this iron for a lot of other cool stuff as well. Uh, one of those things is like extra large platforms, which are going to be pretty fun. And we'll be able to actually get a lot more space. Because right now we can usually just have like one machine on each thing. But we could have multiple on each platform if we really wanted to. Which is actually kind of cool. Um, and really just space conserving. I mean obviously it's bigger. But obviously we also wouldn't have to have as many platforms. Which is really nice. There go. Our resin's done. And we're just going to have these things start making medium storages. Which we can put into our shuttle in order to carry more iron back. So that's kind of the idea. Let's go grab some more real quick though. Uh, so really we want to um, grab as much iron as possible and just bring it all back. I decided I might as well smelt it here as well. That's why I was putting it on the smelter. Uh, that way it's just all fully smelted. Uh, in the future, we can just get a resource canister though. We can make a medium resource canister and then we can just um, put like, it fills up to 32 iron and we can put it all into like one slot. Uh, but we you can't make that yet, so we're just going to go ahead and have to work with what we got, which is going to be medium storages. But I'm going to go ahead and uh, go find some iron real quick, guys, and hopefully we can fill up our space shuttle. Alright, guys, so we just got all of the iron that we need. Got our whole entire storage right here full of iron. I thought we could fit four storages in here, but I was wrong. I'm probably thinking of, like, the, um, the large shuttle. But we got two whole storages of iron. And yeah, we're just going to go ahead and head back now. We are going to have to build another um, another uh, thruster when we, if we want to go to another planet. But it's not that big of a deal. You can see our beacon right there as well, actually. Right before we left, you could see our beacon that we put down. That way we actually know where our base is and we can, you know, come back to it in the future to grind out more bites and stuff. But now we got to find this beacon. Oh, it's right there. I think I got it. Hope I didn't click on the wrong one because that would kind of suck. Not nah, we're good. Perfect. Okay. So, now that we have a ton of iron, 
we need to first of all let me empty out my inventory really, really quick um i made two two extra storages as you guys know because they only took two and i thought it would take four so those are right there i'm gonna put the extra tethers right here and i also have an aluminum throw it over there now we have the iron and we need to make plastic which is carbon and compound now carbon is just um organic smelted i'm just gonna make four because i shouldn't need more than four so i'm gonna smelt that really quick because i don't really have much of a point in not uh, let's see what else we need plastic glass and iron we can smelt this as well to get the glass that we need and then that should be it let's go grab one iron then we can start getting gases to put on the chemistry lab and then it'll be good should i grab one iron for right now because that's all we need for the to make it so that's all i'm gonna grab um now we did kind of lose some of our turbines because obviously we brought them to other place so i might make some more in the future well, i'm not really sure yet i honestly might just wait till we get like nano carbon alloy kind of stuff because that stuff is just kind of insane and i mean not really like broken because you're practically at the end of the game by the time you get there anyway but like it is so amazing when you just have infinite power um so let's go ahead and look at what we can make with gases so you see we have our this is nano carbon alloy like i was talking about it takes titanium alloy, steel, and helium. And helium, you can see, well, it says fuel, but it's also just a gas. Um, helium, we can't actually get on this planet, though. We are going to have to go to a different planet for helium in the future, but we can worry about that later. And see, this one needs nitrogen. I believe we can get nitrogen and hydrogen on this planet. Uh, so we're going to want to have multiple atmospheric condensers to put them on all the different planets. Now, we need one of these for the um the large shuttle and then we also are going to need to get sulfur for the large shuttle as well actually because um this is actually new i don't know how new it is but relatively new for the large shuttle uh, we need exochips exochips i believe are only gotten from blowing up exocrates which we need dynamite for which we need explosive powder for so but i don't know i feel like sulfur is kind of like really far into the game uh, oh, I didn't make it into plastic yet. Let's see, plastic. There we go. So I'm kind of surprised about that, but actually, maybe we have some missions that give us exochips. I'm not really sure. Oh, we got this one. Oh, another QTRTG. Sweet, we can just put that on the base. There's not really a whole lot of a point for me to take both of mine. Now we can pull that off as well. Uh, mostly just because, well, one is basically powers my whole backpack, right? So there's not really a reason to take two. Uh, let's get this atmospheric condenser being built, though. There we go. And let's look at the... Actually, we can, we can look at the mission log three. We can't claim anything, but we can look at it. So see, does anything give us exochips? Oh. Oh, well, that's fine. Explode exocache, yeah. Which is exactly what we would do to get exochips anyway. Anything else that gives us exochips? No. Um... I don't really know what else we can do then. So, yeah, I think we have to wait. I think we're going to have to get silver first, though. And I'm not sure exactly what planets give silver. I think if I hold down F. Okay, apparently not. I want to say there's some kind of way to... Yeah, planets. Here we go. So, yeah, gases, hydrogen, nitrogen. That one is none. Oh, we can go to Calidor to get silver. Okay, so you can see all this, like, this place has argon, hydrogen, and methane. Uh, yeah, Glacia only has argon. Now, Aatrox is a really good one for gases because it's helium, nitrogen, methane, and sulfur. So that's really, really good. But we're probably going to go to this one for sulfur. We want to go for the large shuttle. And we have this now, but we don't really have anywhere to put it. Well, actually, we could put it right here, though, because, like, we don't really need this stuff we can put this here come on go right there and then we can just put it right here we do want the medium shredder i guess but it, it doesn't really shred much if i'm being honest so hydrogen and nitrogen so nitrogen is 100 ppu which is i think it's kind of like the how condensed it is i think like kind of like pressure um so like 
for instance, nitrogen will gather quicker than hydrogen when we're making it in here. But let's make some hydrogen because it's just going to go. We might as well have it going while, while you wait. Um, so we, we have that now. Uh, we could start wor working towards the large shuttle. Um, well, we have ceramic. We need titanium alloy. We need two exochips. So let's go back to titanium alloy. Uh, there we go. Titanium. So titanium is on Glacio. And then we need nitrogen and we need graphene. So we can actually pretty much make this now, I think. So let's try and do that, except we need to go get a titanium, which we don't have. But we can get everything else first. So let's actually cancel this and have it start making nitrogen instead, because we actually need that. Uh, and then graphene is also in here. Let me go find it real quick. Graphene is graphite and hydrazine. We have graphite, but then hydrazine it is right here we need two ammonium and hydrogen so we're actually going to need hydrogen either way well, we only need one titanium alloy and we already have well two nitrogen so we'll go ahead and pull that off put it right there and stop this and go back to hydrogen but you can see that the nitrogen like filled up a lot quicker than the hydrogen was which is kind of crazy but so we need two ammonium though which honestly i think i think we should just go um, find some. I don't remember. I want to say we had some on our tether line. Because, I mean, realistically, it's going to be kind of annoying trying to get... Um, we're have to fill up two whole... What's the word? Soil canisters. Or four whole soil canisters, I mean. If we are going to want to um, get two ammonium. Come on. That is literally so close. Come on, let me click it, come on. There we go, okay. I'm not sure when they got unconnected. Maybe I like, hit it with the tractor or something. Honestly, I'm not really sure. But it's all good, it's whatever. So, let's see. Um, like I said, the ammonium, it, it spawns in the forest. Like with these tree areas and stuff like that. But I thought we had some on our tether line somewhere. So, oh, sweet, we got a mission log thing. For, um, I'm assuming that it just filled up a whole hydrogen thing. Okay, since when did we go two directions with this? Oh, great. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go look for this real quick, guys. Alright, guys, so I just got the ammonium and I'm just driving back. Uh, I couldn't really find it on the tether line, so I just went ahead and took my tractor out to the forest over there and went and found some. And I also got some research items while I was out. Uh, that one was one of the ones from the trees, and this one was... The one I was talking about that's like under the plants, if you guys remember that in one of the other episodes um, where you find it under the plant. So I got like four ammonium, almost five, but I couldn't find any more bits from it. Um, and the hydrogen was done, so we can go ahead and craft the hydrazine. And then we have one graphite right here, which we can use to craft the graphene. And then we have the nitrogen, and then I think we just need the titanium alloy. Like That's like pretty much it. So, yeah, we're pretty dang close. We'll just, we would just have to fly over and get a titanium to get a titanium alloy. But then we're also going to um, need to go get exochips, which is going to be like, you're going to get sulfur and do this and that. And blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's going to be a pretty long process. It's going to be even more when we're trying to get nanocarbon alloy, though, because you need titanium alloy to make nanocarbon alloy. And it's kind of almost just like a loop, kind of just like, getting to one resource and then using that one to make the next one and then you get that resource again then make another one it's it's a whole it's a whole deal but now we can make a graphene um we also can go claim that one that we just got the mission uh let's get this out a little bit there we go uh from thin air that's the one we got earlier oh gas canister that's gonna be really really good for the future and then this one oh hydrazine thruster um, yes, please. That thing is freaking awesome. That is so nice. Now we can we can throw it onto here. And basically, we just take hydrazine and put it on there as fuel. Now we don't have to remake the solid fuel thruster every single time. It's going to just be so much easier. Um, we can actually make one hydrazine really quickly to put on there. Um, that way we can, because I think one hydrazine is like four trips or something like that. I can't remember exactly, but it's a good distance. Um, 
Also, I just put the QT, the, there we go, the new QT RTG, whatever, it's kind of a mouthful to say, uh, on the tractor, so now we can, we can just leave this one on the tractor if we want, but I'm just putting it on there for right now just to speed this up. Um, I'm hoping that we don't, I don't think, we didn't need anything else for the titanium alloy, did we? I don't think so. Besides titanium that we don't have, so we're gonna have to do that, but, um, uh, titanium alloy... Yeah, we need titanium. Other than that, though, we have everything. I'm going to put this graphene right here. So, honestly, we could fly over there just real quick and just get that. Uh, and then in the next episode, probably, we could go for the um, sulfur. Um, but I think I'm going to just pull these off. And I'm going to put the other two on. And we can go ahead and go and get some titanium. Come on. Uh, we didn't actually really need to unpack it. It didn't really matter, but I did anyway. Actually, I need to put the um, thrust on. Not the thrust, the fuel. Right there. There we go. Launch is eight. So usually we have... Is it only... Do we usually only have four? Or is it two? I can't remember, actually. We'll have to see when we get there if it goes down to four or if it goes down to six. I cannot remember. Or, I mean, if it was in a 7 or 6. We'll, we'll see. <laughs> um, so, we're going to go back, back to Glacio. Now, eventually, we actually probably will have a, um, like, a base on every single planet. Which would be really good. Let's just go full speed here. There we go. There's our beacon. See how easy that is? That's why, like, you always want to bring a beacon to every new place. Or to every new planet, I mean. It's just that easy. Okay, there we go. Then the oxygenator. Oh, it must not land in the exact same spot because it didn't um, give oxygen to the tether. That's weird. Uh, we have a gas canister. We didn't bring a gas thing anyway. Um, See, we kind of need to get this iron out of the way for the titanium. We can just put on this other thing, actually. Let's just load up this one up with as much iron as possible. Except that's not really going to work. Actually, what am, I, what am I doing? I'm literally dumb. I can just throw these two on here and put all the iron back on them and then I can bring my other two storages and put them on the smelting furnace and then I can just smelt all the titanium once these are, are both full of titanium will be good and then we just throw those back on the ship and dip so I'm pretty sure that oh, why, why isn't that on there we go I'm pretty sure that we found titanium before. We just didn't really mine it. So I think we can just go down our tether line. And we'll probably... Um, this way. <laughs> we will probably find some titanium pretty quickly. As I'm hoping it won't take too long. And we are... Okay, we did, we did remember our QTRTG. Because we are probably going to have to dig through some solid rock. Um, right here is actually one of the exocaches. Which we can grab really quickly. Uh, we can't blow it up. So not really much we can do with it right now. But we can leave it there. And then once we get the dynamite. We can bring it to this planet instead. Instead of trying to look for some random one. That way we actually can save a bit of time. And be able to get the exo chips. But hopefully we can do that next episode. That would be pretty cool. If we could get a whole large shuttle next episode. Um, I thought this titanium was a lot closer. Maybe I was wrong. I mean, not really maybe. It definitely seems like I was wrong. Oh, hey, look. There's a whole other exocache. Wow. guess this is the place to be for these exocaches. Um, I wonder if these bites have respawned yet either. Because I haven't noticed any yet. But I have done a bit of off-camera bites gathering. So I probably have gotten most of the ones that are around here. There we go. Yeah. Would you look at that? That's exactly what we need. It's just for these to respawn. And then every time we go through here, we grab all of the bites and we're chilling. Okay, so here's the titanium that I was thinking of. Let's grab this research sample as well. And this is going to be kind of a long walk, like back and forth and back and forth, which uh, is going to be kind of a pain. Maybe I should have just brought one of the storages with me and filled it up with titanium. I don't know. I mean, I guess this will just take a while, huh? Alright guys, we are back and we just got all of the titanium for both of the medium storages, which we can just throw onto there. 
And that should be, I mean, obviously it'd be plenty, but you only need one titanium. Throw those storages back to there. Oh, I did actually grab two extra titanium, so I'm going to just let that smell real quick. Uh, not going to forget my RTG, and I'm going to start this research thing again, because power was a little slow, so I turned that off while the, it was uh, taking forever to smell. So not what I want to do with that. <laughs> Hook on my backpack, and oh yeah, it says the launch is six. So yeah, we can go back and forth, and then we can go back and forth again. So basically, one hydrazine is twice the length, right, like gives you twice as many launches as one whole solid fuel thruster. Now, obviously, um, each hydrazine is more costs more ammonium, but also doesn't cost aluminum. And we can just load this up with a bunch of hydrazine. So, honestly, it's definitely a lot better. Plus, it doesn't just break. Like, all we have to do is put more hydrazine into the thruster. We don't have to build a whole new thruster every time. So, it's just nice. Um, I really do like the missions, because it kind of also gives you a path of story, if that makes sense. Like, before, it was kind of just, um, here's all the stuff you can make and go explore and go to different planets and find all this stuff right but now it's kind of like you do this and you get this thing that like you might not have even known like existed before you know what i mean and it's just kind of cool how it all like um kind of progresses you on its own now instead of like absolutely having you like having to figure everything out and like you know look through the research catalog to find anything that would be useful. You just kind of follow these and um, get a lot of a lot of cool stuff. I guess gives you a buggy, which is pretty cool. A lot of exo research and a exo research aid unit. What's the difference between an exo catch and exo research aid? Unit? Oh yeah, that's the that's the big pyramid things that you find. Um, plus the landing pad. Well, if I just place a landing pad on another planet, it would be chilling. Well, there we go, titanium alloy, and we have a ceramic. So now, for the um, large shuttle, we have pretty much everything we need. Uh, yeah, we're, I mean, besides exochips, we just, we can probably do that next episode, just go and fly over to, uh, whatever it is, to Solo or something, and we can just bring our atmospheric condenser, because honestly, don't really want to make another one, uh, and then we'll be good. But, uh, yeah, guys, honestly, I think this was a pretty good episode. Uh, we made good progress, and if you guys did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.